The four reasons you should not get a virtual assistant. I can't afford it. Seriously, us business people, we don't say we can't afford things. We just look at, well, what is the return on investment? A virtual assistant in the vast majority of business can have a huge ROI. Just think of all those things that they could take off your plate, all those things that you were, you know, wasting your time on at the moment where you could be doing other things like producing beautiful videos or other things for your business or lazing around on your hammock. So it's not about whether you can afford it. It's about what the return on investment is. I don't have enough to delegate. So some business owners go, oh, I don't have enough to delegate to a virtual assistant. Well, you know what? There is so much to do in business. I reckon if you write down everything that you do for the next two weeks and then look at those that list and go, what things on that list do I have to do? There are plenty of other things that your virtual assistant could do. You know what, I've got experience, I've had people say that to me and within 10 minutes of talking to me, their brain is exploding with the ideas of all the things they could get support around with a virtual assistant. And if you need support to see the possibilities for yourself, grab the book that Maureen wrote, What a Virtual Assistant Can Do For You. It has a whole heap of things that they can do and it also has the strategies behind it as well um, to get you started. So there are plenty of things that you could delegate to a virtual assistant. No one could do it as good as me. So this is a big one, guys. We, uh, I struggle with this as well sometimes. Oh, no one could do X as good as me. I couldn't delegate that to someone else because, you know, I'm going to be better at it. And you know what? For the vast majority of things, that is not the case. And in fact, there are many things like video editing, graphic design, procedural, systemized, detail things that my team are way better at, like way, way, way better at than me. Like even if I spent that time focusing on it, they'd still be better at it than me. Now, I do acknowledge that there are some things that you are awesome at, and maybe your virtual assistant can't be as good at it as you. Maybe that's your special genius. So there is a number of ways to tackle this. One is that you could get your virtual assistant just doing a portion of the role. So maybe you write beautiful proposals. Maybe they could get all the information together to get the proposal up to 50% so that you then um, cuts down your time. Or the other thing is there might be some non-critical task where you go, okay, well, maybe someone else could do it to like 80, 90% as good as I'll do it. And maybe that is okay for my business. Because the reality is, even though you are pretty awesome, I'm sure, there's only so much that you can do before you start drowning. I am too busy. So the ironic thing I hear business owners say, and I must confess, I've said it to myself before, I am too busy to delegate this. I am too busy to get support. And although I am sure that you are busy and you're not making this up, reality is, is that you need to find a way to make this happen. Unless you like being busy, and some people do, it gives people a bit of a status, oh, I'm busy, I'm needed. And, you know, if you want to cling on to that, then that's your choice. If you want to get out of that mouth running on the treadmill, then you need to solve this problem for yourself. So yes, a virtual assistant does need support. They do need some time and energy and focus, either from you or one of your other team members or a combination of both. But if you do not let go of this I am too busy excuse, let me tell you a secret, you're always going to be too busy.